My name is Peri Dharawat and I'm going to talk about how to write humor. I've been a writer for more than five years, but I started getting paid for it since last four years. And I started calling myself writer since last three years because I started writing more honestly. This talk is about how to write humor and basically how I explored this genre. What I just said, how to write with honesty and clarity. I, I cannot stress enough on this because when you write honestly, honesty in the sense, okay. I'm so thrilled to be right here and I'm actually happy. This is the one sentence. Another one, I'm freaking out, I'm gonna forget everything, but I'm happy. Which line do you like more? First one. Okay, I hope it will be the second one. <laughs> No, the thing is, second one, I know about it because I've been a blogger and stuff that I've said about, you know, insecurity and all that, it gets more engagement. So when I talk about write with honesty, it's about writing what you feel, what you think, and then come back again and what, restart. And come back again and think about that idea why you wrote it and then go ahead with it. Then is how to write humor. Humor means writing what makes you laugh. Now this is so important. Why I started writing humor, okay, I wanted to laugh. I had a friend who said, you know what? You smile a lot. I said, great, but you don't laugh often, he said. Okay, not a compliment. So I wanted to do something about it. How to write what makes you laugh? Research. Go out there, go to Google Devda and just type best comedians in the century. You'll get really good stuff. You won't like most of the things, I assure you, because I didn't. I don't laugh easily. I smile a lot, I don't laugh. But I found some of those really amazing people, like George Carlin, Louis C.K., Bill, yeah, Bill Burr. These guys are like awesome. They are funny, they are informative, and I learned something new with them, you know? So research. There are stand-up com uh, comedy acts. It's flourishing right now. You just go buy a ticket and sit there. Most will be shit, but you learn something. Then there's serials, sitcoms. There's uh, movies. Just, just research, you know, I can't stress enough on this. Humor, identify what makes you laugh. What do you find funny? There are people who say, you know what? What I love. find funny, it's not funny. That's not true. We have around 7 billion population on our planet. Okay, that's huge. Fraction of that number is online. And that is still a huge number. So when you write what makes you laugh, you already have an audience space out there. You don't have to think, you know, I want to be funny. That's not the way to go. Our moms must have told us, you know, mera ladla, hazaro meke, lakho meke. It's not, we all are the same. So when you write something that makes you laugh, there are people out there who are going to find it funny as well. Write what makes you laugh. It connects better with reader. So when you write about bad stuff, you know, this is, you know, this happened to me, it's so stupid. That people, people are stupid, they do stupid things. It connects better. So that's why honesty is important. You have to put yourself out there. I just said, covered the honesty bit, I'm going to move on. What makes people laugh? Yes. I mean, that's the reason we are here, right? What makes you guys laugh? Can anyone just tell me? Humor. Yeah, humor, but what? <laughs> humor is huge. <laughs> we want. Yeah, surprise element. Sorry? Surprise element. Yeah, surprise. So, okay, I'll tell you about this. I was supposed to work uh, over time. I hated it, I didn't want to overwork. I had my colleague complaining about the fact that we are, work, we are overworking and her mother is gonna call her any minute now worrying about her why she's not coming home for around two hours. I didn't say anything, I was stressed out myself. Then it was eight o'clock, she gently picked up a phone and said, my mom hasn't even called yet. I laughed so hard that I cried. For two hours she's complaining that her mother is going to be worried about her. In fact, 
her mother doesn't even care if she's going home or not. And I found that so funny that I laughed and I turned all red. Okay. Second thing, uh, me and my lovely sister were just sitting and talking. We don't do that often. We fight a lot. But you know, it was a really good time and we were just having a lovely chat. That's when she remembered that her best ex-girlfriend is pregnant. And she, she what? Girlfriend in the sense, not that girlfriend. <laughs> so she's pregnant and she was a little upset. So while she was going on, I just bloated, interrupted. You know what? Her baby's gonna look like a monkey. She stopped thinking about it. And, and we laughed and that, that was it. Third instance happened. I was working with my friend and Another colleague comes over and says, we, have a sh uh, we had a shelf for where I work. Oh, Bobby, I love Bobbies. Generally, I'm, oh, Generally, I'm really sweet and humble. At that time, I said, oh, I don't do Bobbies. My colleague laughed so hard that his stomach started aching. Okay. So what do we get out of these three stories? We don't know what makes people laugh. We laugh at some stupid things. So you can't actually make out what makes people laugh. And that's why it becomes even more important to write what makes you laugh. Make sense? Thank you. So this is a case study. We love numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. So what do I do for a living is write, write for engineers. And these students are uh, giving one of the most competitive exam exams in their life in India. And it's called JEE. -E. So I get to write humor as well. So I wrote about what is the use of physics, chemistry, and maths in real life. So I tried to make it more such subtle humor. What I didn't expect was it got 65 shares, more than a thousand likes, and lot of lots and lots of engagement. So when when things go wrong, we know why it went wrong. When things go right, what what what, what the hell did I just do? So I thought of you know just thinking what went right. What did I write here? I added pop culture reference for chemistry, Walter White. I wrote about gravity by saying how you fall down, that's gravity. Uh, what else I wrote? Human calculator. So engineers are supposed to be very intelligent and they can do calculations in their head like some supernova computer. And uh, that is not going <laughs> to make you a bad man. So that's the reference I took. I know it's not sounding funny, but it's working. <laughs> it's working. Even I was surprised. You know what? I just wanted to write something that was engaging, that was funny, with lots and lots of information, pop culture references, and basically writing from their point of view. So that's why I said how to write, research, observation skills, work on that, how to write, and then write humor. So it's, it's not easy. It took me around more than three years to actually be confident enough to say, hey, boss, Ramya, I, I want to be a speaker. You know, it's not easy, but it's fun. Don't try to be funny. Yes, don't, don't, don't try to be funny because if you're, uh, yeah, don't try to be funny. <laughs> when I say that right, what makes you happy or, or laugh, I mean, that that way you'll be able to connect more. That is your agenda. That's your aim. When you try to be funny, your agenda gets messed up. You want something out of it. So when you want something out of it, it just messes up in ways you don't want. So I did stand-up comedy. I tried to do this, and it fell so badly. So uh, how many of you have been to stand-up acts? Okay, very less. I'll tell you a bit, a bit about it. People heckle. So if I'm going to mess up, you guys are amazing. But if I'm going to mess up, you're going to say, hey, some beep word, get the hell out of here. You know, a lot of beep words. So that's how stand-up acts work. And, and when, when you don't know what you're doing or what you're, you're purely uh, want to be something like, I want to be funny, 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 you're going to mess up and it's going to look crazy. So how to be funny is by doing new things. Change your outlook. When you observe things around you, you you able to catch them more and develop an opinion about it. When you do more things, 
that opinion translates into something different, yet it connects. It's complicated. It's how our brains work, which is thoda crazy. Yeah, and by the way, life is crazy. Just look around it. It's all about contradictions. Life was always crazy. You know, the world that we are living in, people die for stupid reasons. And if you just add a little bit of humor in it, why not? Okay, this is a brain. Our brains are wired in a way. My friend told me about it. If you're gonna have, if you're gonna have happy thoughts, you're gonna have more of happy thoughts. There's a study behind it. I'm not gonna show you that study. You just do your own research on that. Uh, if you're gonna think about sad thoughts, your brain gives you more uh, sad thoughts. If you're gonna think about funny thoughts, I wanna be funny. You'll start observing things in certain ways. It's all about perspective. Yeah, so what I said about research, do it more. And be calm and introspective, be calm. So I'm really anxious as a person. I'm really nervous right now, you can say. I'm wavering and all. But I started becoming calm, which means I'm more observant about things around me. And because I already want to think in a certain way, I'm able to grasp those things. And I can say, oh, look at this. And I just laugh in some way because I found that funny. And I'll just write about it. And I'm going to have that post really popular, which is what I did with my uh, post, which I shared. So be calm. When, when you have an anxious mind, it doesn't work. Yep, basically what I said, feed your mind with funny stuff. And it's fun. It's hard work. It took me more than three and a half years. And yeah, something that I just shared uh, with you, uh, with our uh, comment. Sarcasm is really easy, but don't try to do it because you can really hurt someone. And I see, I have seen it happen when I used to do stand-up comedy. Don't put down, because you know what? When you try to learn humor, you're gonna learn so many new things. If sarcasm is one of those things. And sarcasm actually makes you think that you're really smart and you know, I'm, I'm just so cool. It's not that. Funny is different. Sarcasm is part of it, but it's not that. And today, we've seen people, there are so many sarcastic people on everywhere. So try not to be that. And when, you, when you're gonna research on humor, Sarcasm is the first thing that you're going to find. It's so easy, and that's why you're going to find it so often. Yeah, so people say what they find is funny. Yeah, it's, it's not true. Humor is about emotion, and emotions are not stupid. So, yeah. Hmm. I love this guy, Stephen Pastis. Yeah, you are as good as the stuff that you take it. So, take quality stuff. It can get difficult when you're researching about it, as I said, sarcasm is the first thing you're going to find. Next thing you're going to find is self-deprecatory jokes. Now, here's one thing. When I started doing stand-up comedy, I used a lot of self-deprecatory jokes on me. Then I realized I was actually like that as a person, and I wanted to change that. So I stopped making fun of me in my real life, and then I realized my content also got, you know, changed. So. So this is so true. You're as good as the stuff that you take it. So take quality, top-notch stuff. Write top 10 comedians, write top 10 serials, top 10 uh, funny movies or anything. Just find the quality stuff. Do your research well. I can't stress that enough. Bill Watterson, Calvin and Hobbes. Again, love that guy. Love that guy. <laughs> uh, he basically says that enjoy your process. Okay? So when I'm saying that do your research, it's gonna take time. Enjoy that process, because it's a long process. And how to uh, summarize it? Do your research. Uh, work on your, okay, sorry. Be specific, give details when you attempt to write humor. Be honest. Sharpen your observation skills. See all around you what things you see around. Change your perspective. So basically what I'm telling you guys is change your, uh, change your personality to write humor. Okay, is it too much? Yes. Is it worth it? You're gonna actually know what makes you laugh. I think that's worth it. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you. This was my heart when I was here.